Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, we'll cover Construction Suite's insurance and certificate tracking, and I'll show you all of the ways that you can track not only your insurance licenses and bonds, but also those of any vendors or subcontractors or other contacts that you're working with as well. Construction Suite has the ability to track this information on both a job and a contact level, so that you can track your personal insurance and licenses on each job, while also keeping tabs on the insurance and license status of your workers. To access the Insurance and Certificate Overview, you can either navigate to the Insurance and Certificate section of the Project tab, found here, or the one located on the Contacts tab, also found at the top, depending on which one you prefer to see. Once here, you can see a list of all of your contacts and any information that you've entered for their insurance, including the type, the insured amount, expiration date, and more. If you'd like to enter new insurance, licenses, or bonds for a contact, you can do so simply by clicking on the contact name, then selecting Add on the appropriate tab, either Insurance, Licenses, or Bond, and entering the available information. If I were to add some insurance for Abernathy Brothers, let's say that I'm just going to put a workman's comp insurance here. Uh, it's issued today. Let's say that it's going to expire in a couple months. Uh, we'll just say the 20th of November. And you can put an insured amount as well. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And once you've saved the information in the system, you can use Construction Suite's innovative bubble sorts uh, to quickly filter to see which insurance certificates are expired, uh, which contacts have insurance expiring within 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days as well. Now, however, it's not all up to you to come here and keep track of who's going to have expired insurance uh, within any of these time periods. Construction Suite actually takes insurance management one step further and will actually notify both you and the contact when their insurance or certificate is about to expire. Uh, so for you, the user, Construction Suite will create a calendar event for the expiration. If I go over to my calendar, you'll see that I have a few here. Uh, this workman's comp insurance on July 14th for Davis Framing. Um, and it will actually generate a pop-up notification as well. Um, it's by default a month prior to this, uh, whenever this event is coming up. Uh, the subcontractor, or vendor, contact, whoever it may be, will also be notified via email, so long as you have an email on file for them, uh, 30 days prior to that insurance expiration. Now, if 30 days is, isn't enough of a cushion for you, uh, you'd like a little bit more notice for when the insurance license or bond is going to expire, you can change that setting up in the Tools, Options, and Certificates menu. Uh, you'll see here that you have the choice to say, warn me about expiring insurance or bond certificates X days in advance. So you can change this from 30 to 60 or 90 or 120 or doesn't have to be multiples of 30, anything you want. Uh, but once you've done that, Construction Suite will then generate those email notices and pop-up reminders um, that many days in advance for both you and the contact. Uh, so finally, Construction Suite also has the foresight to notify you when you're scheduling resources if their expiration will still be valid. Uh, so for example, if I go back over here and look at my contacts and look at my expiration within 60 days. I've got Jones Electric that's going to expire on August 7th of this year. Uh, so if I go over into a schedule and say go down to my electrical section, uh, you'll see that this is scheduled on August 10th through the 14th, uh, so that is after the expiration. If I go and try to assign a resource now uh, for Jones Electric to this particular task, then when I try to save this, Construction Suite will let me know they have or will have expired insurance at this point and ask if I still want to continue. Uh, so the will have part of that is important to note because uh, even if you are scheduling in the future, say you've got a, a year and a half schedule, you're scheduling something nine months in advance, uh, if the insurance doesn't expire for say seven months, Construction Suite's not gonna tell you that in the bubble sort, it's not within 30, 60, or 90 days. So you're not gonna see that visibly right there, but with the schedules, what you get is it's gonna be intuitive enough to know you're scheduling this in nine months at that point in time, the insurance will have been expired, so it will still let you know that even if it's not expiring anytime soon based on today's date. So, by storing all of this insurance and certificate information in one place and automatically notifying you when a contact doesn't have current information on file, you'll never have to worry about remembering to update that information again. And you can rest easy knowing that we've got you covered.